My name is Levi Agostino and I'm a painter and decorator. How's it going there, Levi? How's that wall going? Yeah, nearly finished. Good, that wall's looking really good. That colour looks nice. Listen, when we finish these walls in here, we'll, we'll move off into the laundry and, we, and we'll use the same colour, OK? OK, sure. Great, mate. I work for my father, Eldo, as part of my four-year TAFE apprenticeship. Um, we mainly do new work, which consists of painting new houses, but we also repaint old houses. The TAFE training was good because you learnt the theory side of it. So while you're on the job, you're learning the skills to do the painting, and then at TAFE you're learning the things such as calculations, how to calculate paint quantities, how to calculate quotes, you're learning what paint is made up of, you're learning about colours, how to understand colours, you're learning the mechanical side of spraying. On the job, you just do the work. It is important to be a team player in this trade because you cannot paint a house by yourself or make enough money by yourself. You need to communicate effectively so that the jobs get coordinated properly and finished on time. It takes about five days to finish a new house that's inside and out, and that's a standard job for us, and that's with a team of three people. Dad and I left home at 7am this morning. Levi, is it you packed and ready to go to work? Yep, it's all ready to go. Let's go on our way then. A lot of people think that painting is easy, but um, painting is quite a hard job. It's physically hard, and not only that, but it's, it's quite a stressful job as well. We're always pressured by other trades to get the job finished so that they can come in and do their work. We're always pressured by supervisors so that we can get the job finished. And we also have the clients on their backs because they're always eager to move into their house. Glossing would have to be the hardest part of the job. It's a perfectionist job because you need perfect surface preparation because when you have glossed, it shows up any minor imperfections in your surface. Sounds good, mate. Nearly done? Yeah, nearly done, mate. Looking good. I enjoy being able to sit down and relax at lunch break after hours of hard work. Where are you on the weekend, Levi? Uh, not sure yet. Probably... Uh... Well, playing soccer on Sunday, but that's about it. Who are you playing? Ah, uh, just mates, just uh, down Bortel Oval. Nice little friendly game, eh? Yeah. What about yourself? You getting up to anything? Ah, uh, probably going for a surf, eh? Yeah. Levi, if, uh, what we'll do now, we'll just go through these quantities here on our pay sheet and check off the meterage. We'll start with the ceilings. We've got 302 square metres of ceilings. We need to work out just how much uh, material we're going to need. Well, 302 square metres. I work for my dad, but on the job, he's my teacher and boss. And when I get home, he's happy to give me extra training on the business side of the trade. When we're on the job, we are there to work, so my dad treats me like any other employee. This client has requested that his doors be done in imitation wood grain. I enjoy doing wood grain because it allows me to use the artistic side of my trade, and I get a great sense of achievement out of it as well. I learn decorative effects at TAFE but I had an advantage because I studied art at high school. It's very time consuming and picky, but when I stand back and have a look at the final product, it's very worthwhile. Although we do start early at seven o'clock, we do get to finish at 3.30 in the afternoon, which gives me plenty of free time to do the things I really enjoy. And where I live, there's lots of waterways, and so one of the things I do love doing is canoeing. Getting my registration means that I can work by myself, and do jobs over the value of $200. Getting my registration also means that I can start my own business. I'm thinking about going into partnership with Dad and possibly even putting on my own apprentice.